Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in today's video I'll show you how you can do the audit of the applications which your users might have installed which is like kind of shadow IT uh, where you don't know which applications your users are uh, using and installing by themselves and giving these third-party applications access to official or the work data. So though there are hundreds of tools available in the market which can do that for you but these are kind of expensive and they do a bunch of other things as well so if you are an enterprise for sure you should you know really consider this tool but if you are uh, maybe a small business startup or kind of medium business and don't want to invest that much because you don't need that uh, functionality I can uh, you know help you get this done without uh, investing anything so last year in 2017 in the in May I guess uh, Google uh, faced a phishing attack and that time I was working for a client and I had to do audit of all the tokens uh, for all the users and I created this script which I'm sharing and let me show you how it how it works so for that let me go to my Google sheet this is uh, essentially a sheet that I use I have a lot of scripts here so I'll go to my scripts and then uh, there is one I'm sure which is about what audit it's yeah this is the one so what the script does is it will go to all of your users one by one uh, and then it will fetch a few attributes of uh, those users from the token uh, so for example it's going to tell you the user uh, email address and then it's going to tell you the application name it will tell you the client ID of that application whether that's native application or not and is this anonymous and also the scopes which are granted uh, by your user to that application so the way it's written is you will need to first uh, uh, you know create a sheet and then it will export all the data in that Google sheet so let's say if you are uh, you know this is the first time you're using this script which I will uh, put in the description or maybe uh, if you are on my website I'll put the script below so you will just copy the script like I did and then you will open a Google sheet you will click on tools and go to script editor and then once you come here in the script editor you will create a new file and make it a script I give it the name whatever you like it doesn't matter and then just paste the script which you copied once you do that make sure you save it so the script is saved and then what you need to do is because if you see this this uh, script is running admin directory uh, so you will go to the resources from here and click on advanced Google services and from here make sure that you enable uh, admin directory uh, API once you do that you will also need to go to your Google API console click by clicking on this and you will then need to enable the admin SDK which I will show you now so once you are here you will click on enable API's and search for admin SDK Oops, search for admin SDK it's right here and then you will enable it once you do that you will then go back to the script I'm not sure why is it taking that much time come on Google okay so this is now enabled uh, now we will come back to our script and we will say OK uh, we have done those changes and the services will be updated so once you are done with this then you will you know just to make sure you will click on save here and now I mean I have a lot of scripts so don't pay attention to these just I mean you will only have this one script on the left and then you will go to this play button which uh, says run and then you will run the script but before that uh, it is looking for a Google sheet which has which has the name OAuth so you will make sure that in your sheet you will name it OAuth uh, like I have it now here and then you will click on this play button to click to run the script the script will run and it will add a few columns here okay it's the first time if you run it you will need to give it the permissions 
you will need to I mean in my case it's asking for a lot of permissions but in your case it might ask for just a couple of permissions because you're only running the one script or auth and once you do that click on play to run the script and now if you see we have uh, the user email ID application name client ID is native anonymous and scripts granted now what you well, this the sheet is now ready uh, where you can run your scripts what you need to do is in the first column uh, you know I it seems I need to enhance the script a bit to make it more contextual but for now uh, in the first column you will say user email address okay uh, user email ID and then here you will put the ID of the user for whom you want to check which applications that specific user has installed now obviously you can put multiple uh, users so I'm just gonna put my own email ID here but in case let's say if you have thousand users you will put all these thousand email email addresses here uh, in case if you're running the basic version of G Suite uh, which comes with six minutes of app script ex execution time uh, you should be able to run maybe 1500 to 2000 users at once here in case if you're running business uh, version and you've applied for app maker which is approved now then you get 30 minutes of app script execution time and then you should be able to run I would say uh, maybe five ten thousand uh, easily okay in my case I'm just gonna show you with the one because this is my own domain I just have one license on this once I have the ID here I will go back to my script and click on this run icon to run the script and once I do that uh, if you see the script ran and it's telling me the email address I just put it here because in case if you put like some more uh, email addresses here and if these users uh, do not have any uh, applications then instead of showing it at blank it you will see this email ID here so that you can easily differentiate anyways so in the first column you have the user email address and the application one uh, you have uh, the name of the application to which Google has given access if you see this Goldigo is the one which we just granted access to so it, it, it picked that as well and then you get the client ID of that specific application you you see what, whether it's native or not and then anonymous or not and you know the scopes granted and so on and now let's say uh, you know you can maybe what you can do is you can quickly uh, use the unique formula to figure out the unique applications and see if there is any application which is used very widely by most of your users and you can look at that in case uh, you know, in to, in 2017, uh, when the phishing attack happened, we were able to figure out the uh, client ID of the application, this one, and then what we did, we did a, a match, like a VLOOKUP, and see if any user has granted access to this client ID, and then, uh, you know, then we ran another script, which went and deleted uh, the token uh, behind the scenes via script from those users who by mistake gave uh, access to that application so uh, I'll put the script in the description if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching it on uh, my website you will find the description below uh, just copy the script follow this video and I think that should be helpful to you in case if you have any questions as usual, feel free to put your comments and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.